Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well and you're taking care of yourselves. So today we have four piles of cards to choose from. Pile one, two, three, and four. We are going to be asking, will they be back? Uh, this could be for pretty much any kind of connection that is in separation or no contact, um, romantic, platonic, whatever. Will they come back towards you? Will you ever hear from them again? That's what we're going to be finding out today. So I'm going to show you the cards on top a little bit more closely to maybe help you decide which pile you want to go with. This is for group number one, group number two, number three, and group four. So the timestamps will be in the comment section as usual. All of my links will be in the description box below. So if you're interested in checking them out, please do. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Serpentine Daughter. I have a website and also an Etsy shop where you can order a private reading from me if you're interested in that. I am planning on running a sale on personal readings, 20% off. Um, June 1st through the 7th, 2020, so that will be starting uh, probably very soon. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to upload this video, but if you have been thinking about getting a reading from me, that would be a great time to do so. So, um, if you haven't decided yet, go ahead and pause the video because we are just going to get right into this with group number one. All right, so group number one, let's see what cards you have. So your first Oracle card is Manifesting Miracles. It says your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. I'm going to put that right up at the top. We also have Prosperity Lies Ahead, New Moon in Taurus. We have Blue Moon, Believe in the Impossible. We have the Thinker card, which is number 44, and we have the Knight, Triumph over Adversity. And your Tarot cards, we've got the Three of Fire, we've got Strength, Ten of Water, and the Five of Earth Reversed. So, um, right away, you guys have probably already figured this out, but this is a pretty positive uh, reading that I'm that we have here. Um, a lot of good energy. There is also a lot of, like, I, I, I want to say energy of potential. We have a lot of cards here that relate to me to um, wish fulfillment and manifestation and also potential for, you know, creation, potential for something new. Um, I mean, Manifesting Miracles, that card is pretty self-explanatory. Prosperity Lies Ahead, this is a new moon card, and new moons in general are associated with new beginnings. Um, this card specifically uh, usually indicates, you know, abundance, prosperity, good things coming your way. Um, the Three of Fire, this is um, all about potential to me. This is all about opportunity, uh, the unknown. This card implies that, honestly, I, I feel like your connection to whoever it is you're asking about, um, you know, obviously if you're watching this, more than likely that connection has been put on hold for whatever reason, but this Three of Fire honestly makes me feel like there's something about your relationship to this person, something something is supposed to happen here that has not happened yet. It's like there's something about this, like some purpose to this connection that has not yet been fulfilled. Does that make sense? Um, we also have the Five of Earth here reversed. So this is kind of interesting because the Five of Earth in general is associated with loss, loneliness, abandonment, um, you know, this <laughs> a lot of times is the card of like, getting ghosted, you know, things along those lines. But in the reverse position, it is a much more positive uh, energy. In the reverse, this card a lot of times, well, sometimes can indicate like a return. 
um, like something that you have lost returning to you. Um, this card can also just represent like overcoming feelings of grief, overcoming loss. Um, but in this particular case, I really feel that energy of a return very strongly. And I actually get the sense that some of you may be feeling like um, the odds of this person coming back towards you are kind of slim. Um, because, I, I mean, the Manifesting Miracles card, a miracle is, you know, something that seems very improbable, and yet it happens anyway. Um, and also, believe in the impossible. This card is showing up here. Um, I get the impression that some of you have been out of touch with this person for quite some time. And I feel like a lot of you maybe aren't really expecting for them to come back towards you, but maybe you're just curious. Or maybe, okay, I, I feel like some of you have... For the most part, you, you, you've you kind of moved on from this connection, but some of you, I feel, have recently had experiences or seen uh, received signs relating to this person, and maybe that's what has kind of prompted you to, you know, be asking if they're going to be coming back. Like, maybe you've had dreams about them recently, or you've just been seeing things like repeating numbers or just specific things that remind you of them. And I feel for a lot of you, you haven't, you haven't had anything like that happen for quite a long time. And so you're kind of, it's kind of weird. You're kind of wondering, like, what, what does this mean? What's going on? Um, the thinker card, you know, this is showing me, like, you guys reflecting a lot on what these signs and impressions you're getting might mean for you. And I also feel with that card that, the person in question, the person you're thinking of, um, possibly has been receiving signs or synchronicities as well, um, which is interesting. Like, I honestly feel as though, from not just your perspective, but also from their perspective, like, they have felt as if this connection is just, you know, a thing of the past. Like, I feel like both of you have kind of moved on from it for the most part. But lately, like within the last couple of months perhaps, uh, maybe even less time than that, but I feel like lately they have, they've been experiencing, like I said, signs, synchronicities, they've possibly been dreaming about you, and it's causing them to feel, you know, kind of led to reach out. Um, <clears throat> We do have the strength card here as well. This card it relates to overcoming obstacles, facing adversity. Uh, this is also considered to be one of the soulmate cards. This represents, you know, endurance and perseverance. And in that respect, this card can represent um, connections that endure uh, over long periods of time, which is kind of the nature of the soulmate connection. Um, and this, you know, I, I just want to point out that this doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you were romantically involved with or interested in at any point in time. Soulmates are not necessarily romantic partners. There are, uh, there is such a thing as platonic soulmates, soul family. This could be one of those cases, but it doesn't really seem to uh, matter too much in this case, uh, at least for the purposes of this particular reading. Um, also, the thinker card is number 44. I think I mentioned this already. Um, 44 is considered to be one of the soulmate numbers, particularly, um, I, I believe, four relates uh, or is associated pretty strongly with, like, twin flame connections. Um, four relates to, like, unions and partnerships and that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, in general, the number 44 to me just signifies some kind of strong um, bond or connection that, that two people uh, share. And so, okay. Um, this is a pretty straightforward uh, reading that we have here. I feel like your person is going to be coming back. 
um, I feel like it's going to be kind of like against all odds that this happens, okay? Um, but I feel as though when it does happen, it's going to be... I, I'm, I'm hearing that it's going to be really different from the way it was before. I'm sorry about this lighting. Um, the sun comes in here like so bright in the afternoons. And I have, like, a really high window in here, so I can't reach it to cover it with anything. Um, so I'm sorry about the glare on some of these cards. But anyway, um, they're saying it's this connection is going to feel and be very different from what it was in the past, okay? Um, so regardless of what your relationship to this person was like before, whether it, there was conflict in, you know, I feel for some of you there was, to, at least to some extent, with this night card being here, triumph over adversity. This obviously implies that there was some kind of adversity going on in this connection. Um, also, knights in general relate to movement, action, as well as communication. So that's worth making note of, I think. Um, but... I feel like you will be hearing from this person, and um, these two cards are kind of going together for me, Thinker and the Three of Fire. The Three of Fire can also indicate, like, somebody um, waiting to take a particular action, like somebody has an intention in mind and they're just waiting for the right moment to make a particular move based on that intention. Um, so I kind of feel like that's where this person is at right now. I, I get the sense that they have set this intention like they they want to reach out to you they want to reconnect with you and i think to some extent there is a little bit of like anxiety or uh it feels like they just have some reservations about doing that um probably just b because of your history um like I said, uh, it seems like most of you have had at least some conflict with this person in the past. Um, but I see this person kind of just overcoming whatever anxiety or uh, reservations that they may have. And, you know, just kind of biting the bullet and, and reaching out and seeing what happens. Um, the Ten of Water. This is wish fulfillment. This is contentment unconditional love. Um, this is a very happy, very, I, I mean, I can't even, this is the card of like everything is going right and everything just feels perfect. Um, this is emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. And particularly in the relationship context, this is a really positive omen. Um, I mentioned that when this person comes back towards you, things are going to be very different. This Ten of Water is really kind of emphasizing that to me. Um, <clears throat> I feel like the two of you have a very positive relationship in store. And it kind of goes back to what I said with the Three of Fire kind of at the start. Um, it seems to me like there's a higher purpose to this connection, or there's, there, there's just something here that, that is unfulfilled, like something that was meant to happen between you that didn't get a chance to happen, and so, like, this reunion, this reconciliation, I guess, is supposed to occur so that this purpose can be fulfilled, um, <clears throat> It really feels as if this is someone who's meant to be in your life. Um, like this is, this, I, I get such strong soul family, soulmate energy with this pile, group one. So, yeah, it, it feels like this person is really meant to be a presence in your life. You know, in regardless of whether this was or wasn't a romantic thing, this person has a higher, a, a larger role to play for you and you for them. And that's why, that's why this reunion is being set up to happen, okay? That's why you both have been getting, like, signs and synchronicities that are making you think about one another. 
I want to pull, um, I want to pull maybe one, one or two cards for timing and see if we can't get an estimate of when this communication might happen or when this person might come back towards you. I'll just use this deck. All right, we have the higher power card. This is number four. So again, more of that like soulmate, soul family energy. This card relates to divine timing and divine guidance. Um, number four, this is, this could be four weeks, four weeks from now, whatever time, you know, whenever you're watching this. Um, for some of you, it could be as short as like four days. I think that's for a pretty small number of you, <laughs> but um, I would say for the collective, for the majority of you guys, this energy is falling into the roughly one month mark, okay? Um, so not, not real long to wait there. All right, so um, group one, I am going to leave it at that for you guys. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope it was interesting. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. This is just a general reading, so, you know, take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Uh, yeah, thank you again for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye! All right, group number two. So, let's see what cards you guys have. First, okay, we've got Only Time Will Tell. Interesting. We have... New Moon and Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. We have Milk and Honey reversed. We have The Wolf, Beware Who You Trust. And The Dagger, Conflict and Danger Lie in Wait. Very interesting so far. And your uh, tarot cards. You guys got a bonus tarot card. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, we have Ten of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, the Emperor, and the World also reversed. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, First of all, I get the impression that some of you who chose this group maybe have been like actively trying to manifest this person back into your life. And others of you, others of you have not. Um, this is, okay, this is kind of weird because I'm feeling like there's two distinct groups of people that this reading is meant for which is interesting. There is one group that I feel wants this person to come back, and then there's another group that doesn't want this person to come back. Um, but the overall message that I'm getting is pretty much the same. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I, I, I feel like whatever the case, what, whichever camp you're in, um, I feel like your person that you're thinking of, the person this is about, is someone who in the past has probably, um, been kind of, uh, I want to say deceptive towards you. I mean, the Seven of Swords, this card relates to deception. It can represent betrayal as well. Any kind of sneaky behavior. Um, it's not exclusively about that, but that is one of the um, bigger uh, aspects of the card. And in this context, that's the part of it that's that that's the energy that's really standing out to me. Um, also, the Knight of Cups reversed. The Knight of Cups upright tends to be a pretty positive card. This usually represents offers or expressions of love being made. Um, you know, romantic feelings in the reverse, however, this card can represent um, emotions that are out of control or that are not well understood. It can also represent, like, 
I, I want to say, um, like someone not being forthcoming about their feelings, somebody maybe being deceptive about their emotions. Um, for example, saying that they feel one way when in fact they do not feel that way. Um, <clears throat> We also have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This card, to me, when it shows up in the reverse position, a lot of times this implies that something, something did not turn out the way it was anticipated. Like, for example, maybe you had specific goals in mind for this particular relationship with this person. Like, you had, uh, you know, a specific direction that you wanted it to go in. But that did not happen. It did not turn out the way you hoped. It did not turn out according to your plan. Um, and so there is a sense of loss here. There is a sense of loss. And um, the emperor, the emperor, I feel, is representing the, your person's energy for the most part. Um, the emperor obviously is a pretty masculine energy. However, don't get hung up on gender. It's not really relevant. Um, <clears throat> The Emperor is typically an authority figure. The Emperor is someone who likes to be in control of things. Um, the Emperor can be a very, you know, positive role model and um, disciplinarian, you know, fair. Um, fair, harsh sometimes, but fair. Um, however, the Emperor can also be... The Emperor can also be a little bit of a control freak. There's there's kind of a fine line between the light side and the shadow side of the Emperor, which is... In, in, I feel like in this case, the shadow side of this card is, is really tying in with your person's energy. So, like I said, the Emperor can also be kind of a control freak overbearing, also manipulative sometimes as well. And I kind of feel that that, you know, those may be things that describe your person to some extent or have described them in the past. I do feel for the majority of you, regardless of whether you're wanting this person to come back or not, I do feel for the majority of you, this person probably is going to be coming back towards you. I say probably, um, only time will tell. You know, obviously this is not a definitive yes or no answer. Um, and it does imply that there may be a bit of wait before this happens. Um, but I do feel for most of you, this person is going to come back towards you. Um, we have this Oh, we have this new moon in Capricorn. New moons in general relate to new beginnings. This says your hard work is paying off. Um, this, I think, applies mostly to those of you who are at, like trying to manifest this person back into your life. Um, it is working. And the thing is, even though... You know, I, I see for most of you, this person will make a reappearance in your life. I feel like it's still not going to be um, an ideal situation. Milk and honey here in the reverse. This is... This card, when it's reversed, honestly, gives me a very uneasy kind of feeling. Um, it can talk about escapism, it can talk about overindulgence, and it can also represent that something is not the way it seems to be on the surface. Like, the reality of a situation is different from how it appears to be. Um, and also, these two cards, beware who you trust and danger, uh, danger and conflict lie in wait. I mean, these two cards are very... <laughs> very similar, um, they're warnings. They're warnings that basically I, I feel like the person that we're talking about here may not have the best intentions for you. Um, 
uh, when this person comes back into your life, they may tell you that they have changed and they may even show you, at least initially, that they have changed. They may not behave the same way that they did in the past. Um, they may say things that seem, you know, very insightful and, and much more mature than you remember them being. Um, however, I feel like it's not going to be genuine. Um, I, I feel like in reality, this person is really not that different from who they were in the past, unfortunately. Um, the world card is here also in the reverse, and this is stagnation. This is a lack of movement, a lack of change, resistance to change. Um, this card can also represent that um, there's maybe things that have been left unsaid or a, a lack of closure in a situation. Um, I feel like this person has intentions to come back towards you because there's something, I feel like there's something that they want from you. And I'm not I'm trying to figure out what that might be. Honestly, I feel like for some of you, this person is going to come back towards you because they want help from you. Like, like literally like, um, like financial help or like something like that. Um, because they feel like, they, they feel like maybe you still have a soft spot for them. And so maybe you'll, if, you know, if, if they come towards you and they act like they've changed and they're better, that maybe you will, uh, help them out or maybe even like take them back or accept them back into your life. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't necessarily have to be that this person is going to be looking for, like, money or anything. Um, it's possible that they might just be looking for, you know, an ego boost, like some emotional support. Um, uh, honestly, this person... And, you know, I don't, this is just general, so, like, don't take this stuff super personally. Um, but, honestly, it feels like for a number of you, this person is almost like, um, kind of like a vampire, like an energy vampire. Like, they just take and take and take and give nothing back. Like, energetically, but also, like, emotionally in their relationships. And like I said at the start, regardless of whether you are wanting this person to come back or if you are not, um, if you're not, this is a heads up, you know, that um, they, they may be making a comeback. And when that happens, be very cautious. Um, but regardless of whether you do or do not want this person to come back, really, I mean, this energy overall is the same. The, the message, the warning is the same. Those of you who are trying to manifest this person back towards you maybe are hoping that they have changed. Maybe you have some kind of feeling or inclination that there has been a significant change in this person. But honestly, I don't feel like that has happened, at least not yet. Um, it, it seems to me like if this person does come back towards you, it's going to be like a repeat of the past. And I don't, I don't, I don't think you really want that to happen. Um, this, I don't know, they just seem like bad news bears, okay? Um, <clears throat> so be careful. And um, I know for some of you, this may not have been uh, what you were hoping to get in this reading. But, you know, like I said, this is just general, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, yeah, uh, I, I hope this was helpful or interesting. I hope it resonated with you guys. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I am wishing you guys all the best, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!
Okay, group number three, let's find out if your person that you're thinking of is going to come back. So, first card we have here, it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Next we have waxing moon, the energy is gaining momentum. We have the orphaned card, interesting. We have... The Minstrel, Let Your Intentions Be Known. And your tarot cards are the Devil, the Strength card, Ten of Swords Reversed, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so give me a second here to look at these cards. Right away, um, I get the sense that for those of you who chose this group, more than likely your person is going to be um, contacting you. I mean, I, I get that mainly with this card. Let your intentions be known. This implies communication. This implies openness, some level of um, honesty and, and insight. You know, I feel, <clears throat> I feel as well that there's there's been some tough times between you and this person i mean orphaned this card's pretty straightforward it's loneliness it's loss it's abandonment um the devil card this relates to uh it, it can represent like addictions codependency um any kind of toxic relationship or just situation in general where a person might be feeling stuck or trapped. Um, we also have here the Ten of Swords. Now, it is reversed. So in the reverse position, this is not quite as uh, intense as it is upright. Upright, this is grief and betrayal and, you know, heartache. This is like emotional turmoil, a very painful, difficult loss or ending. Um, in the reverse, though, it's really about healing and accepting healing and acceptance, um, moving on from pain, moving on from loss, etc. Um, so it does become much more positive, but it still implies to me that there has been a lot of difficulty within this connection. And I honestly feel like, I mean, with group two, it was pretty clear to me that there was also conflict or had been conflict between group two and their person um, in the past. But the difference here is that for you guys, this doesn't seem like something that was... Honestly, like the difficulty, the conflict, it doesn't seem like something that was like intentional. Like it, it feels as if it was some kind of, th there were some kind of external forces or external factors that created issues for the two of you. Like there was something outside of your control that pushed the two of you apart for whatever reason. Does that make sense? And I get the impression that the person in question here has not been able to stop thinking of you. I feel like this person, you know, still has you on their mind and their their feelings towards you, their fondness for you, you know, their connection to you just in general, I feel has um, persisted over time. I mean, the devil and the strength card here, they are kind of similar in some respects. I mean, strength relates to endurance and persistence. Um, the devil can represent obsession, possessiveness. Um, both cards are showing me that this person has honestly been a little bit fixated. A little bit fixated on this connection. Like, regardless of how long the two of you have been apart, it's almost like they're feeling as if you know, you were the one that got away, or there was su there was supposed to be more to this relationship, more to this connection, and we never got a chance to get there. And I I get this feeling like I 
I get this feeling like they have they have waited on making any kind of move because to some extent they they feel as if this is a connection that has been lost to them and they just don't know if there's even a chance that the two of you could come back together I really feel for most of you guys, you know, I didn't intend for these readings to be like specifically about romantic connections, but I feel for most of you guys this probably is or was a romantic connection. Um <clears throat> that's just that's just how it feels to me. Um but it feels like they're they're not sure if the two of you could come back together because it's like they're not sure if you've moved on. They're not sure if you are seeing someone else or involved with somebody else or interested in somebody else. Um, and, and they're also a little bit hesitant because they feel like, you know, maybe you've changed. Maybe you're not going to be the same person that you were then. And I feel like they're a little bit nervous about that idea, um, that possibility. But um, group three, I, I do feel like they are going to reach out to you. Um, the energy is gaining momentum. They're kind of building themselves up to it. They're, they're working their way up to taking that action towards you. And um, the Eight of Pentacles, kind of similar. This is about hard work, putting forth the effort to achieve a particular goal. Um, this card also tells me that when you do get back in touch with this person, I feel like, I feel like they may actually come on a little bit strongly. I mean, okay. I feel, I, I, okay, let me, let me tell you what I'm, what I'm getting here. I feel for some of you, when this person contacts you again, they might just kind of like jump right into it, like waste no time uh, with, you know, hey, how you been? I feel like this person may just jump right to like their feelings about you or about your relationship, about what they are looking for from you, kind of a, a, a little bit... Um, possibly a little bit off-putting for some of you guys, okay? I just feel like this person is going to want to jump straight to the point. And so that's why I said they may come on a bit strongly. And um, it's, <laughs> I, I think it's really just going to be because they are, they're going to want to know, like right off the bat, what are their odds? What are the odds of you guys reconciling? And I do feel that this person maybe has a little bit of a lesson to learn about space and about, you know, boundaries and stuff like that with this oracle card being here. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Give each other space. Um... <clears throat> That maybe was something that this person struggled with in the past. And that may be something that they still struggle with in some ways. But I feel if you are, you know, if you're going, if you're wanting to accept this person back into your life, I, I do feel that, you know, that, that space, those boundaries, that's all stuff that can be achieved. Like, this person is not beyond, you know, getting that, getting those things in their head. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> they just, I feel like when, when you guys get back in touch and you have the opportunity to talk to each other, they just need to, like, get grounded. When they start speaking to you, they will become a bit more grounded. Um, because right now, all they it seems like all they know about you 
All the information that they have about you is from what they remember from when you were part of each other's lives. And so in some ways, they've kind of created like this version of you in their mind based on what they remember of you <clears throat> that uh, may not be totally accurate to who you really are. Does that make sense? Uh, so, so they just need to kind of be reminded of like who you truly are as a person. And I feel like that is going to ground them a little bit. And, and that's going to, um, you know, that that's going to kind of serve as a reminder for them to give you a little bit of space and, and maybe not be quite so overbearing. Um, <clears throat> but I do feel that this person is going to reach out to you. And I'm going to pull an Oracle card and see if we can get um, any kind of time frame for when this might happen. That's too many cards. Um, let's see. It seems like this person... <sighs> Okay, these are the exact same two cards that just fell out a second ago, so I guess I'm supposed to take them. Um, truth be told, happy, happy in the reverse. Number 14 and number 26. I feel, okay. I'm getting as far as time frames go between five and eight weeks from the time that you're watching this. Alternatively, for others of you, it could be the 14th, like the date, the 14th of the month, or the 26th. And I know that's not like super specific, but um, obviously this is a general reading. So I would say, like, if you're watching this and it's like the beginning of the month or like the very, very end of the month, um, then I would say it would probably be either the 14th or the 26th. Um, if you're watching this more like in the middle of the month, whatever month it happens to be, it's probably going to be between that eight, the five and eight week Mark. Marks. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I hope that makes sense. But that's a little bit overly complicated, but that's, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Um, Truth Be Told is a pretty straightforward card. It talks about communication and honesty. Pretty much confirmation to me that you will be hearing from this person. And also, happy, happy. In the reverse, this card is... Um, usually a reminder to, you know, be paying attention to all the joy and beauty that is around you. Um, and also, it sometimes, like, it, sometimes it indicates to me, um, like, feelings of longing. Feelings of longing, like, I would be so much happier if I just had this particular thing, or if I could do this particular thing. Does that make sense? And, and I kind of feel like that's how your person is thinking of you and your connection. Like, they would be so much happier. They would feel so much more fulfilled if they could just, you know, reconnect with you and have some kind of relationship with you again. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I think I'm going to leave it at that, <laughs> uh, group three. I hope this was interesting. I hope that it resonated with you. Um, this is just general, so take what applies to you, leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Thank you for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye! All right, and lastly is group number four. So let's see what cards you have. First of all, we have New Beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So right away, that's a pretty pretty promising card to get. We also have Work Through Your Fears, New Moon and Scorpio. We have Treasure Island, Reversed. Okay. And we have <clears throat> 
I'm not going to attempt to say that because I know I'm going to say it wrong and embarrass myself. Um, but the card says, you will receive news from afar. All right. So I think we already pretty much have our answer here. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have Strength Reversed. We have the Sun. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So interesting that you guys got Strength because this makes three out of these four readings today that um, had the strength card show up. So that's kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> we've got a lot of really positive energy here. New beginning, obviously this implies that there's going to be some kind of new fresh energy coming into this particular connection or situation with this person. Um, this card, you will hear news from afar. This is pretty self-explanatory. This implies that you're going to be receiving some kind of communication specifically from this individual. Um, the Sun card. This is illumination, enlightenment. This is warm, radiant, loving energy. Um, the Sun really is the most positive card in the deck, in my opinion. Um, in, I think, probably most people's opinions. Um, if you are hoping to hear from this person. If that is something that you're wishing for, this is also a really good indicator that that wish, that desire, is going to be fulfilled, okay? Um, and also, going back to that element of illumination with the Sun card, this can indicate something being revealed that was hidden, okay? So, like, if you're in separation from this person right now, then you know, they're, they're kind of being concealed from you. They're kind of being hidden from you. And the sun implies this person coming out, like coming forward into the light, making themselves uh, known to you again. Does that make sense? Um, Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, these are two more really positive cards. Nine of Pentacles usually is about independence, self-sufficiency. Uh, both of these cards also relate to wish fulfillment to some extent. Um, the Nine, I mean, I mean, both of these are stability and security as well. This is Earth energy. It's very solid. It's very stable. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Um, very solid, very stable and grounded as well. Um, <clears throat> pentacles a lot of times indicate slow but steady progress toward a goal, okay? Now, work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. New moons, in general, relate to new beginnings as well. So more of that kind of energy that we saw up here. Um, this implies, however, that... The person that you're thinking of may have some reservations about reaching out to you. Um, and Treasure Island also implies that to me as, as well. Um, in the reverse, this card can represent like a lack mentality. It can represent feeling uh, feelings of inadequacy, not being good enough. And Strength Reversed is very, very similar. This card can represent weakness. It can represent fear. Um, an inability or an unwillingness to face adversity or overcome some kind of obstacle or, you know, work at overcoming an obstacle. Um, so I feel like your, um, your person that you have in mind is experiencing a lot of fear or anxiety pertaining to contacting you for some reason. And... Let me, okay, you know what? I'm going to pull out a couple clarifying cards. I haven't done this for any of the other readings today, but I feel like in this case I need to because I want to know, I want to know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> okay, why is this person fearful about contacting group four? Queen of Swords reversed, the Magician reversed. I get the sense that this person maybe has not followed through on some promises that they might have made you in the past. And, um, yeah, okay. It, it feels like they're just worried that you might be very cold to them or not 
be very receptive to them. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. Some of them are also fearful that you maybe have just moved on entirely. And they're kind of afraid that, you know, they, they might reach out to you and receive no reply. I kind of feel like that would be, for a lot of you, that would be even more devastating to your person than finding out that you moved on, finding out you're no longer interested or don't care about them. Worse than that would be just getting no reply whatsoever. So that's kind of interesting. Um, okay. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much all I'm getting as far as what's holding this person back. Um, pretty straightforward, but you know feelings, our, our emotions and our perception of things can be very powerful and it can have a lot of control over us. And I feel like that's kind of where this person is at. Like they're just being very controlled by their fears and their uncertainties. And, um, they're kind of second guessing themselves too, a little bit like, you know, is it, are, are they even worthy of contacting you? Like, are you, well, okay, let me put it this way. Um, for some of you, your person kind of feels as though they don't really deserve another opportunity with this connection. Like, they, they feel like they, um, hmm, it's like they feel as if they've just screwed things up beyond repair, and yet there's still a part of them that wants to try to repair this. Um, hmm. Okay. They, 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 they are worried that they have maybe screwed things up beyond repair, but they're hopeful, they're being cautiously optimistic that that's not the case, that they will have an opportunity, you will allow them the opportunity to work with you to rebuild your relationship. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm going to pull a timing card, see if we can't get an idea of when this person might reach out to you. And I, okay, before I do that, I want to say this, um, for some of you, it seems to me like... <sighs> I can hear some of you saying, if they feel like they've screwed it, screwed things up beyond repair, they're correct, and they should, they need to just stay in their lane and not bother me. Um, you know, uh, this person may be a little bit delusional. They might be a little bit stupid, even. I, I you know, I don't know them, but I kind of get that impression, like, for some of you, that that might be the case. Um, because it feels like even though this person does have these uncertainties about reconnecting with you, at the end of the day, it feels like they also have a lot of optimism with the sun card being here and the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Like, there is, there is worry, there is uncertainty, but there's also a lot of optimism and hopefulness, and I'm not sure that that hopefulness is entirely warranted. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's see if we can't get an estimate for when this person might reach out to you. That card went in the floor. Alright, we have blessed. Okay. Blessed, alright. This is number 22. Blessed is associated with receiving gifts from the universe, blessings. Um, I also relate this card to surrender, receptivity. Hmm. <sighs> 22 and 21, clean it up. Okay, this blessed card is kind of emphasizing that idea that this person might be a little bit delusional. They might be kind of living in like a fantasy world. Um, cause I 
kind of get the impression that they feel like you know enough time has elapsed that you know maybe you're not upset with them anymore or maybe you're not angry anymore or you know maybe you've forgotten about what happened between you in the past the broken promises the you know all of that that's probably not true <laughs> um sorry about that i had to pause i was getting a phone call um it was my mom, so I figured I should answer it. But anyway, yeah, um, it, it seems to me like ugh, this person feels like, you know, maybe enough time has gone by that you have forgotten or you're not mad about it anymore, whatever. And I feel like for most of you, that's probably not really the case. Um, you probably have not just forgotten about whatever happened between you or, <laughs> you know, forgiven and forgotten it. Um, but that's what this person seems to be hoping is the case. And as far as timing goes, I want to say about three to four weeks from the time you're watching this, approximately. You know, this is just a general reading. And in addition to that, timing is always subject to change. Um, timing is never set in stone. The future is never set in stone because we do have free will. So at the end of the day, it is determined by our actions. Um, but based on the current energy, the strongest collective energy that I got here, um, it looks like more than likely your person will reach out to you and it will occur in the next three to four weeks ish. Okay. And, um, I feel for a lot of you, uh, well, some of you, this is a bit of a heads up, you know, just like a, like a warning. For others of you, um, you know, if, if you are open to the idea of letting this person back into your life and trying again with this person, you know, um, I think that's going to be very doable for the two of you, but I do feel that there are going to be some things that are going to need to be addressed and it's it's just going to be one of those situations where I feel it's going to take some time to rebuild, you know, the relationship, rebuild the trust with one another, all of that. Um, but, you know, if, if that's something you're hoping for and, and you're wanting to do here, then I do feel that's very, very, um, very doable for you guys. So that's really all I'm getting for y'all today. I hope this was interesting. I hope it resonated with you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope I see you next time. Bye!